being a man of color, um, what were some of the most difficult or like what was some adversity that you faced in the in the acting industry? Wow, very good question. Again, um the two things that I faced, one was um there was a there's a there's a scene on the wire where my character Omar, uh it, he has a conflict with another character named Stringer Bell. Now the two actors that played these characters were dark skinned men, myself and another brother by the name of Idris Elba. And when I got the script and I saw that Omar shoot shoots and kills Stringer Bell, that was the first time I struggled with something as being a man of color in this industry. That was the first time I asked myself, am I keeping it real or am I or am I perpetuating the problem? Am I am I feeding my community? Am I am I reserving this negative narrative that the only way that black alpha men from my community can deal with their issues is by shoot by one of them gotta die? Am I am I feeding that or am I keeping it real? Like this would it be in the hood. So so I was like, that was the first time that I struggled with being a man of color in the industry, right? You know, am I what am I really doing with my with my image? Right. And then the second thing. I struggled with is um you know one time uh, this was a black person too this brother came to me and he said aren't you afraid of being typecasted because all my roles you know I play I play the hood roles right you know you know they asked me am I afraid of being typecasted and I was like I'm afraid of not eating right do you ask you know like you know what's up with this typecast you know like you know so what I play characters that look like this you know, this is what my community, you know, so what, what I did was I said, oh, okay, they're trying to generalize people that look like me for my community. Do they ask white people this, this, this typecasting thing? Like, I don't understand what, why when I'm playing my hood characters, I should be worried about being typecasted. So what I did was I said, you know what, Mike, I'm not going to let them make me ashamed of my, of my community. I come from the hood. I come from the projects and I know the, I know thugs. I know their mothers, I know their brothers, sisters, I know I know the bad choices they made to be labeled that. I'm not saying that that's me, but I know I know some gangsters that I grew up with that I love and I consider my brothers and they love me because I never portrayed to be that. I stay in my lane. So I said, Mike, since you got this platform, it is my responsibility to not let them generalize my community, men that come from my community that look like me. So me and you, we could both be from the same hood, same project, same building, right? We could have even a similar household. You ain't had your daddy, I ain't had my daddy, right? That don't mean we're gonna have the exact same experience. You are you and I am me, right? And so I was like, I came from Vanderbilt is 59 buildings strong. That's a lot of people in one in one area. I I know so many, I have so many fond memories of, of like people from my hood that I, I, I pull different nuances from and I create these characters. There's never going to, you'll never see anywhere in my catalog, two characters. They can, you can call them, they call them urban characters. You will never see two of my urban characters that look the same. You'll never. That's, I made that my responsibility to not let them put me in a box, not let them make me ashamed of playing my hood characters and not let them generalize us, you know what I'm saying? We're all individuals. So those are the two things that I had to struggle with and made it my response. I, I took that on as my responsibility. Yeah, I'm grateful for everything that I've been through because it made me who I am. And, but, the, but my real goal is to, to let you guys know that y'all don't gotta do that. Y'all don't gotta waste the amount of time that I've wasted. If I could get y'all to you know the level of just believing in yourselves and, and doing the work and not wait until you're my age or not wait until you you know you're in your twenties or your thirties to really start getting together. You ain't gotta do that. You can start doing it right now in this moment. You know, it starts with yourself, it starts with the thought process, what you believe, you know, and then and then you know what 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 you what you give your energy to. You know, how much work do you put into to manifesting? what you believe in about yourself, your dreams, your aspirations, what you want to do. You can start that now. You ain't got to wait till my age with a gray beard. Y'all can do that right now.
because you have it in you. 